Hello and welcome to my channel Simply Chef. I'm here on YouTube, it's a brand new channel all about hair care, gardening, finance and so much more. So please subscribe, like, share and click the notification bell. Also please share on all the other social medias if you've got Instagram or Facebook I really appreciate it. Let's get into today's video. So today's video is about um, topical hair growth um, aids that you can use for your natural 4B, 4C hair. And so here I'm just telling you about the hair care cycle. Hair is not always growing, there's a growing stage, a resting stage, a shedding stage, a dormant stage. And so sometimes it looks like our hair is, um, is, is gone thinner or getting bald, it's just going through the cycle. Um, especially during the telogen phase where your hair is shedding, that's a necessary process in order for you to get new hair. And also that um, you have about 50 to 150 hairs that fall out every day. So it's not always you're having a hair loss. Sometimes it's just going through different phases of the cycle. Um, why would you want to use topical um, growth aids on your hair? Probably you're losing your edges or you're just um, you're just losing hair in bald spots or wherever. So that's the reason why I've tried topical growth aid, um, aids in, in the past is to stimulate growth. Um, also, if you've got dandruff, um, a lot of these that I've covered in today's video have antifungal properties. So you might um, think, obviously, your scalp and your, your pores are clogged, so your hair is not growing as much. And so you need to use an antifungal to get rid of what's on your scalp to, in order to really re-stimulate re the growth in your hair. So the very first one, and one of my favorite, is always in my stash. It's sulfurate. Everyone's heard of this. Um, as you can see, um, it's, it's got sulfur in there as a main ingredient, which is the reason why um, I believe that it works for me. Um, it's got a whole list of other ingredients. Um, and as you can see, they listed there petroleum and other things on, uh, you know, in the natural hair community is generally not um, recommended. However, this product really does work for me and does give me extra growth. And it also gets rid of any dandruff that I have. So I'm going to vouch for sulfur self rate and give that a go. It's really cheap as well. Sahara, I've used Sahara many times on my hair. Um, I'm going to say about Sahara though, it is greasy um, and it can obviously make you break out if you are prone to breaking out. So give that a try and see how it goes. Also for me, when I am using Sahara, um, I try to use just a small amount because it is quite, it's quite a lot of product for what it is, if you know what I mean. Um, it's got aloe vera in there, single Bible, you know, us Jamaicans will know that single Bible is just great all around for hair care. So um, that's the reason why I, I, I got this product. It really does make your hair grow. However, if you've got acne prone skin like myself, you might have a problem breaking out from it. So just be careful when you are using it. It's available in most shops in the UK and it's probably about 3 99 the last time I looked. So it's not very expensive at all. The next one is um, vitamin E oil. And this is just great for your skin and for your hair. Obviously, if you've got um, um, dandruff and anything like that, then this is great just for overall skin. And um, it's great for your scalp as well because your scalp is a continuation of your skin. So vitamin e oil is a great topical um growth aid you can use it um twice a week should be fine for most of these now on to virgin um i think virgin needs no introduction i've been using virgin for at least i think eight years and it's never ever failed me this product again contains sulfur which i think is why it works for me and i use it on my hair um uh, about two to three times a week when I remember, I try to put it the same place with my toothpaste is actually, and that's a great way to remember when to use your growth aids. Um, as I've said to you, I've gone through postpartum shedding and I've lost a hair at the edges of my hair through that process and it hasn't really recovered. And so this is still in my stash. This is still used regularly. Give it a go. It's really inexpensive, it's again, under five pounds. And so you should be able to find it at most supply store or oh, we're in lockdown, so online. And so that's virgin hair fertilizer. Use it on your edges use it on your hair it really does work and for me i think the best thing about this product i actually really do like the smell some people don't like the smell but i like the smell i like the way when i apply it to my scalp and i go outside i can feel like the air on my scalp i don't know if that makes sense but it's really it's just a really nice calming like peppermint effect and i really really like that um and so you can have a look online and see if you can find it but i definitely recommend this i am going to be doing a whole video on actual natural topical growth aids and i'm gonna just throw onions in here although the rest are not really natural because onion is something that you don't have to go out and buy it's locked down who wants to be spending money so um there's very many recipe 
recipes here on youtube of how to use onions on your hair as a growth aid so definitely look out for that obviously onion also has sulfur in there which is why it would work for you um if you're like me and sulfur works for your scalp to get rid of dandruff and also to stimulate growth so definitely try and look up some um, onion recipes and apply that to your hair it's something that you can find straight away in your fridge it's natural and um you should be able to get the same growth effects from it so um, after reviewing all of those, as I said to you, my top recommendations is the sulfurate. It works for me all the time and virgin. But as it's locked down, you can't really go out and buy much. You can try the onions. So just a final word. Um, don't give up. Don't give up if you're trying to grow your hair or trying to grow a bald spot. Don't give up um, and be consistent. Also, just continue a good hair care regimen for your entire head, not just um, the, the parts that you feel are missing. Just um, obviously stick to your routine and your regimen and you should be able to get there. Minimize the stresses on your hair. Don't keep rebraiding your hair all the time without giving it a break in between, especially the edges. It's very much prone to damage. So, and also minimize stresses in your life because one of the reasons your hair could be either falling out or having, you know, bits where there is um patches or getting thin it could be stress so minimize stress and also subscribe to my channel if you subscribe to this channel about 4a 4b hair 4c hair you will get lots of lots of useful information just like this thank you so much for stopping by if you've subscribed already thank you so much please like this video subscribe share it share it on all your social media i really want the word to get out because i want to help as many women as possible with this information so thank you so much for stopping by